been working on putting together some new journal impacts. These ones are a different theme and the theme for these ones is crafting. So you've got lovely embroidery hoop there, lots of different yarns, which I thought were really cute. How amazing is that one? And then what else do we have? Some sewing and crochet hooks. Just some really cute stuff. I thought that reminded me of like a cross stitch picture. And I've been making loads of wax seals. You get one of these in the journal and packs as well. I love these ones. These are like lavender. And they work nicely on the purple. And then I've got lots of new wax stamps. So, so this was the first time I've having a play with those. It's really good to have, I have got six stamps here that I used, so I managed to get a bit of a production line going. So I'm just going to be working on making these packs up over the next few days and then hopefully getting them in the shop soon.
Hi and welcome to a very sunny sewing room on the east coast of Scotland. My name's Rachel and I am So Remy. You can usually find me hanging about on Instagram where I am I am at So Remy. And I've also got an Etsy shop which is So Remy UK, which is all one word. Um, and welcome to my little vlog where I just chat about what I've been up to um, and there's lots of little bits of video going to be in the video there's video in the video there's going to be lots of bits of video dotted throughout as well um, of what I've been up to I don't feel like I've been up to very much lately though just pottering about the garden and been in the kitchen a bit working on some new sourdough loaves I had to start my sourdough starter again um, and it's always a bit of a learning curve just sort of trying out you know what works in your own house because no two loaves are ever the same between people because we use different flowers our environment and our home is different so it's it's been fun and um you just have to try and pace yourself and not make and eat too much bread which is easier said than done i've got another loaf in the fridge at the moment which is going to get baked this evening and i'm really excited about this one because i tweaked my recipe a little bit um it was always really wet and kind of just flopped out of the basket when I tipped it out so this time I added a lot less water so I'm really hoping that I get a better result this time um but it's all quite a lengthy process and a lot of waiting to see how it does turn out um so let's begin with what I want to chat to you about today um I didn't really chat much in the last video it was just you know I just felt more like filming stuff rather than chatting to the camera um I would like to say though to everyone who has made fabric purchases in my shop a massive thank you the fabrics have been so so popular they're so pure they're so pretty really beautiful fabrics and I've had a couple of people messaging to say that they are planning to make quilts with the fabric so that would be amazing to see I've already had one picture shared on Instagram so that's been really nice to see so thank you if you've made a purchase there are plenty of fabrics there in the shop so go and have a look and I've also got two new ones that I've just added today and these are just a basic nice leafy florally ones which kind of go with most of the fabrics in the shop already they also go really nicely with each other and I think these are great because I can use these for um, bag linings I'm using the fabrics myself to sew with as well so these will be great for linings but I think they would also work well as an outer really really pretty and such lovely muted kind of tones really like that um, I just noticed the main thing that I want to talk to you about today are all perfectly coordinated <laughs> everything matches so nicely um, so yeah these two new ones are in the shops you can buy them by the fat quarter a half meter or a full meter so they are in my shop now um, you're probably wondering what this is I'm going to talk to you about this next as well this is an envelope but look at the paper it's made from like sewing pattern it's really cool it's scrapbook paper so it's the kind of thick card but um, I've made it into an envelope, which as some of you might might know, you might recognise. This means that my journaling packs are back, but not just any journaling packs. These ones are craft themed. This is the only one I have with this paper though. The others are just in the usual kind of florals and other patterns. But I just thought that paper was amazing being the sewing pattern. So these ones are crafty themed so you can expect to see some lovely knitting some wool crochet sewing kind of stuff in these ones and all of the images that have been stamped are of a crafty theme so you will get a whole load of goodies inside your envelope i made the envelopes i hand make all these big envelopes these ones have got a little doily in which i love using on my scrapbooking pages there's a mini envelope which i have also handmade there are some goodies in there, stickers, there's a wax seal in every kit and they've got a sticker on the back so you can stick it in your journal. There's some stickers in there. I've made little uh, paper clips, embellished paper clips and then you've got your little pack here with all your stamped images in it. There's a tag in each one as well so you can either use that in your journal or you can add it to a gift. Um, but yeah, the stamped images, I have got some footage here of that, so I'll add in the video footage. And I can't believe that when I made my packs last time, I forgot that I've got my little lady as a stamp. 
Um, so these ones have got her in them because she is a crafty little lady. She's the lady that features on my pin badges and on my on all of my merch, really my uh, needle gauges. I've actually got each of the elements of the picture as a stamp. So I've got the lady, the little teapot table and the bookshelf as separate stamps. So I have remembered to use them in this set so you'll get one of each of those. Um, there's also really cute stuff like just scissors, there's balls of wool, spools of thread. I didn't realise I had quite so many cute crafty stamps but they're all in there and that makes for a really really nice set and you can use these for um, if you're making a crafty journal you can use them for card making as well it doesn't have to be for scrapbooking or journaling um, yeah you can use them for anything and I know that there is a real kind of uh, what's the word not a craze but lots of people are taken up recording their projects at the moment if you head over to uh, Nikki who's Nikki Winterton on YouTube and Clara Pegarty elsewhere you can see she has a little um, project journal that you can I think you can download some of the templates or you can buy them ready printed and um, she's doing a, a project notebook is it? project notebook project scrapbook she's recording all of her projects and what I love about how she is doing it is that the way hers looks is completely different to the way mine looks and I just love the different ways in which you can interpret your own projects and stuff she's got lots of um, sort of tangible bits from her projects in her notebook so she's got bits of wool and she spins as well so she's got the is it fibre or fleece or whatever that's called in her notebook and it's just it just looks amazing as well so um yeah I think the two kind of go hand in hand which is really nice to be able to sort of um I don't know they kind of complement each other a bit as well which is nice uh, yeah so if you want to check out other ways of recording your projects then have a look at Nikki's work um so these are going in my shop tomorrow night tomorrow is Friday the 10th of July. Those are going to go in my shop 7pm. The numbers are limited but there's quite a lot there but I, I think you're going to like these. I think you're going to love them actually. I'm really really pleased. These were, these have been floating about in my head ever since I did the journal impacts in the first place because the last ones were nature gardening themed which is also right up my street but I really wanted to do a crafty themed one and these have turned out amazing. Um, I've spent quite a lot of time on these and I kind of realised just how much work goes into them. I don't think I had really noticed before but with all the handmade elements, like there's two handmade envelopes in there, the big one and the little one. And then there's all the stamping and then there's the wax seals as well and the paper clips. So a lot of handmade has gone into this um, but I know that you'll all appreciate that anyway. So Friday night, tomorrow night, um, 10th of July, 7pm, they are in my shop. The fabrics, I've just popped them in already, so they are already there. And yeah, that is what I have been up to. Um, I think I started the journal impacts on Sunday. I worked a lot this weekend. I started them on Sunday. Um, we are now on our school holidays here as well, so um, yeah still trying to work and fit in life and family and all that kind of thing but I feel like we've had a lot of practice lately with having lockdown anyway so it doesn't feel too different. Um, I haven't really been doing much else lately. I've been thinking about and working on some new plans um, which have taken up a lot of my thinking time in a really good way because I've been really really excited about something that's coming up and I think you are going to really like it as well. Um, I might tell you more about that next time because I've ordered loads of stuff and none of it's here yet so once it all arrives and I can put it all together um, I will give you more information and let you know when that is going to be launched. Um, but that has taken up so much brain space um, to the point where it has actually been keeping me awake at night but in a good way because I've been so excited about it. Um, but that's meant I've been so tired. I haven't really done any other crafting. I've got my scrappy socks still on the go in my little basket here. I don't think I've worked on these. 
well I've probably done more since I showed you last but I haven't worked on them in a good few days anyway so they have heels again this is the go day heel that I've been using lately um, I got this from the Soul Sister Socks pattern but Jules has now released another pattern which is her Sweet Vanilla Toe Up Sock so it's just a plain sock which is a really good recipe I like that word a recipe for a sock so um, yeah got the heels done when I'm doing heels on two at a time I often get asked how you do that so I just do the first one for you know you go forward and back forward and back uh, these are I think they're short row heels short rows or something so you you work on the first one leave your second one out of the way for a bit finish your first one and then you move on to the second one and do the whole heel all in one go on one sock and it's really it is easy it's really easy um, the only thing I've had trouble with with two at a time socks was casting on cuff down I had to do them separately yeah I started them off separately on separate needles and got them into the round and then I put them both on one needle but that's the only thing that two at the time socks has given me any bother with so yeah loving the colours they've got the same colours in them just in a different order and I think I've got two more colours each left I've not planned it very well because I've got the same colour left I've got the purple left for both socks but I've also got the yellow and orange which are a bit similar I should have planned that so what I think I might do is have them I don't know how I can hold that up going that way and then just finish I don't know whether to finish both socks on the same colour cuff oh I don't know the problem with random is it's never actually random is it it requires an awful lot of thought but anyway I absolutely love these so much and I love the colours and I love the tones of the colours oh love them I have already been thinking ahead to more scrappy socks and just different colourways and stuff and I looked out of my kitchen window the other night and all I could see was like flowers in the garden and they were like pink, purple, white. I thought mm, there's a bit of um, colour inspiration right there. So what did I do? I came straight upstairs on my way to bed of course um, and just pulled out some colours that fitted in with like pinks and purples and all that kind of lovely those lovely shades so i'm just gonna stick these all together and show you what i've got here oh i'm struck on the floor but anyway here you go how yummy is that and then i thought do you know what they're all the same colors i would normally use anyway they don't look any different to what i would normally pick but it just shows i love them so i might make some more scrappy socks using bits and pieces from here um, they are actually very similar looking to advent socks that I made a couple of years ago actually. They're all pinks and purples as well. And then um, I was watching Jules's vlog, So Sweet Violet, and she has made a snuggle down cowl, which is her pattern as well, in some lovely blues and greens. I'm just trying to pick up this ball that we'll have dropped. Another little lovely white one with pinky flecks on it, that fell out the basket. Um, so yeah, Jules was making a lovely, sort of, just reminded me of the sea, like sea foam, sea green and blue colours which were beautiful and I love greens and then I thought I need some bluey green socks as well. Um, I haven't really had a chance to look through yarns for that, for those yet, but I don't, I don't think I've got many in those kind of colours. I've got my big jar which is actually now left with quite, I've got loads of greens in there but they're very bright so they might not be quite right. But I also did a little swap with Nicola, who is Bumble Stitches. Um, you can find her on YouTube and on Instagram. And she sent me some beautiful yarns. I think I've taken some out of here to put in here. But I can see there are some nice bluey greens in there. Look, there's one, there's one. I love this one as well. It's kind of got all different colours in. I know I should really show you them out of the bag, but... They are really, really lovely. I really like ones like this that are kind of white, but they've got a bit of everything in them. Love that. I especially love that as well. I know the light's not the best for showing you. And I love this as well. I think this is my favourite. I don't know why. It's just got everything in there. I really like it. So anyway, I've got plenty of yarns to play with. 
there's another bluey greeny one so I might actually manage to make some bluey green socks as well that would be nice those colors are so calming and relaxing that's really looking quite bright in the picture there so yeah I've got lots to play with I sent Nicola some fabric scraps and she sent me some yarny scraps um, so that was exciting it's always nice to get someone else's odds and ends isn't it um, so that's what I've been up to lately. Today is Thursday and I really need to make myself a face mask because as of tomorrow they're going to be mandatory in shops in Scotland. Um, I've got a pattern here that Gaina from Tales from Cuckoo Land has recommended. Um, is that the right way up? Yeah, it's the right way up but the mask itself I think. Is the mask at the top of the mask? I'm a bit confused with that. I'm not sure whether to make this kind of style or the ones that are just more of a rectangle and then gathered at the sides. That's what I was thinking I was going to do because they look really simple. Um, but actually I've read the instructions for this type and it's really simple as well. Um, the website for this one is called wholefully.com if you want to look at it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to have to do this afternoon. I did say I was going to try and do it last weekend, but it's such a boring job and it's like I don't want to make face masks, but I have to. <laughs> Nothing worse than doing your hobby because you have to rather than because you want to. <sighs> I don't want to, but I have to. Um, I'm thinking of just finding some fairly plain fabrics. I don't want anything too bright and fancy because I think I feel... I think the thing with the face masks is that I feel a bit self-conscious. I know I'm going to feel self-conscious wearing one, even though I would say I've seen about 40-50% of people wearing them. And it's probably going to it'll really increase as of tomorrow, because it's going to be mandatory. Um, so maybe I won't feel quite so self-conscious, but I don't really want anything too bright that's going to draw more attention to it. Um, I'm a bit worried about how it's going to go tomorrow, because I think a lot of people um, they've already said that shop to shopkeepers and shop workers that they don't have to police it because they can't. And I think you're going to get an awful lot of members of the public just refusing to wear them, which is going to annoy me so much. Um, I am going to really be going to the shops as little as possible um, from tomorrow onwards because not just because I don't really like the idea of wearing a face mask, but. It's going to, I'm going to be seeing other people who just aren't going to bother and that's really going to annoy me. It's like it's so rude. It's like they might not care, but can't you respect the fact that other people do care and don't want to breathe in any of your potential germs? So yeah, I'm not going to be avoiding the shops. I'm going to go back again and going backwards, I mean, like to how it was before where I just stopped up and stuff and went shopping as little as possible. So I think that's going to be me for the next little while. Um yeah so today I'm going to make my face mask I'm going to get the vlog edited and uploaded for you and what will I do I think I might chop into some of my new fabrics because I haven't sewn with the two new ones yet I would like to see it's always nice to see what they look like sewn into actual bags and stuff so I might might make a start on that um, and I'm going to the post office later on as well with some orders um, so yeah, that's me. Don't feel like I've been up to much, but um, yeah, I've had a few things to share there, so I just wanted to share those with you this week. Um, I hope you're having a good week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.